We shall now discuss quantitative aptitude questions regarding clocks and time. Now these questions basically deal with an analog clock where you have an hour hand and a minute hand and at different times through the day the angle made between the hour hand and the minute hand varies. These questions primarily deal with this angle. There are several key concepts which may be important from the point of view of the IBPS exam with respect to clocks. The first is angles covered. That is, the minute hand covers 360 degrees in one hour. In one hour, the minute hand covers a whole circle, so that is 360 degrees. Likewise, in one hour, the hour hand covers only 30 degrees. That is, from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock, the hour hand moves only from 1 to 2 which is 30 degrees. One important thing for you to note is that the IBPS does not generally ask you questions regarding the second hand. So knowing about the minute hand and the hour hand are sufficient. The second key concept is when the two hands meet as in this image at 12 o'clock. The hour hand and the minute hand are coincident and pointing at the same location. Now this happens 11 times in 12 hours. It would do good for you to remember this because there have been questions in past IBPS exams uh, where the question asked is how many times in 12 hours do the hour hand and the minute hand meet. Uh, so you should know this directly as a shortcut, memorize it that the hour hand and the minute hand are coincident 11 times in 12 hours. The third key concept is when hands are in a straight line such as in this image. In the previous case also they were in a straight line but they were incident upon one another as in they were both pointing at the same thing. In this case however it is when the hour hand and the minute hand are pointing at exactly opposite numbers and the angle between them is 180 degrees. This too happens 11 times in 12 hours. The third concept is when hands make an angle of 90 degree, that is, the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand is 90 degree. This happens 22 times in 12 hours. The next concept to know is how to find the angle between two hands given the time of the day. At any particular time, that is hours is to minutes in a 12 hour notation, by this I mean that 1 o'clock is represented as 0100 and not 1300. At any particular time, the angle between the hands is 11 by 2 into minutes minus 30 into r. If you remember this formula, you can solve any question in clocks. This formula has to be memorized because it is really important. One thing that you must note is that if any of the terms in this equation, such as if 11 by 2 into minutes is greater than 360 or if 30 into hours is greater than 360, that is if each of them has a value 360 plus some x, then replace each of those by x. That is say if 11 by 2 into minutes is equal to 370, which is 360 plus 10, replace that with 10. There are two main types of questions that can be asked on clock. The first question type is where you are asked to find the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand. That is in the question you will be given a time and you will be asked to find the angle between the two hands at that particular time. For instance, look at this question. What is the angle between the hands of a clock at 7.30 pm? Now we know the formula that was given to you a few slides before. Let us just substitute hours and minutes with 7 and 30. So the angle between the hands is 11 by 2 into 30 minus 30 into 7 which is equal to 165 minus 210 which is equal to minus 45 degrees. In terms of magnitude is equal to 45 degrees. So the angle between the hands of a clock at 7.30 pm is 45 degrees. The second type of question is regarding the position of the hands. Let's understand this with the help of an example. 
The question is, at what time between 7 and 8 o'clock are the hour hand and the minute hand in a straight line? Now here, we are going to use our standard formula. The hour is equal to 7 because this is the time between 7 and 8 o'clock. So it can be anything from 7 o'clock to 7 hours and 59 minutes. But the R here in the formula is equal to 7. The R hand and the minute hand are in a straight line, which means the angle between the hands is 180 degrees. Now, substituting everything into the formula, we have 180 equal to 11 by 2 into minutes minus 30 into 7. This gives us 11 by 2 into minutes is equal to 390. Now, 390 is 30 more than 60. Now, an angle measuring 360 degrees plus x equals an angle measuring x. So, we replace 390 with 30 in the formula. Solving for the minute value, we get minute equal to 5, 5 by 11 of a minute. So, this concludes the lesson on clock. You must have gathered by now that the most important things for you to remember are this formula and the number of times in 12 hours that the hour hand and the minute hand are in a straight line, coincident or at right angles.